What's up guys and welcome to another episode of Two Car Garage. As you can see behind me, there is something unusual in the two car garage right now. And that is that it is barren. I mean, right now in the shop, there are only two motorcycles. Something's wrong, right? We have, we're gonna have to change that. I mean, how can one garage only have two motorcycles in it? I feel like there needs to be one more or maybe two more, or three, or three and a half. Um, either way, I hope you're ready for the next project unveiling because I have been putting this off, I've been waiting for so long, and I'm so excited, amassing parts, getting ready to just sink my teeth in. So let's check out what our next project is. Now, what's better than one of these bikes? Well, you can kind of see my problem here. Uh, one turns into two, turns into three, turns into sort of a half of one on a tarp under there. So let's check it out. Well, I think I've got a problem, guys, because what I meant to do was build an early 80s Virago 920. You have the early Japanese V-twin, the monoshock rear suspension. What I ended up with was like three and a half Viragos. So while I'm over here thinking what could be better than one old Virago and that's three and a half, what you're probably thinking is why would you possibly want three and a half Yamaha Viragos from the early 1980s? Well, let me explain it to you, right? This one right here, the most complete one, has the 920 engine and that's the sugar that's what i want this one over there somebody else's unfinished project uh, has some rear sets installed and it has a custom-made seat pan and a somewhat good 750 engine that's i think under that tarp or somewhere else and there's some other bits along with that one too and then this one over here another virago 750 project has a front end from a Gixxer 750. And then this is a bunch of other parts in addition to the engine. I think there's an extra frame under there too. And then along with all of this stuff, I got all of these spare parts, everything from extra cafe seats to headlights and fasteners and electrical. So where other people see a giant pile of garbage, and you could be talking about this or the bikes out there, what I see is this this is my plan check it out so the plan with all of these bikes right three and a half and tons of parts and frames and engines is to build one exactly how i want it totally custom i'm not going to say a cafe racer because one part of it might be sort of cafe-esque i'm not going to say scrambler because another part of it might be scrambler-esque i'm going to build my bike the one that i want to build how i want to build it with that 920 engine and the Gixxer front end and rear sets and clip-ons and so on. And then with all of this other stuff, I think I'll be able to put together another Virago 750. And that'll still be awesome, right? We're still talking about early 80s Japanese V-twin, monoshock rear suspension. And then with all the other stuff, I can sell it as a lot. I can sell it on eBay. Maybe I'll really be into Viragos after working with them this long and just keep it all to build more. I don't know. But either way, that's the plan. Build, sell, and then have a million Virago parts left over. So now that you know the plan, the only thing left to do is get it up on the lift. Now what I'm gonna start with is the most complete bike because that has that 920 engine in it. And honestly, I haven't heard any of these things run or drive or, you know, the entire inside of these engines could be filled with acorns for all I know. So I want to get this semi-complete 920 bike up on the lift. And the first step will be to get it running. So I know that that engine is in good shape. Then we start the build, baby. So here is our Virago 920. As you can see, it's a pretty unmolested and pretty good example. It's all there, 
right? The front fenders are here, the brakes are there, like the forks aren't super leaky or anything. It's got a headlight. This 920 motor only has 12,000 miles on it, which is awesome. The tank is here and the tank, I believe anyway, isn't super rusty. Looks like it's been painted black cheaply at some point, but as you can see on the inside there, not rusty, which is awesome. The seat is here without any like major tears. It's got a little backrest. It's got an air filter. I mean, shoot, it's got an air filter, folks. This is what you pay for. But here's what I'm looking for, and here's why I got this. It is unmolested, right? Like on the other uh, bike that I got out there, the rear swing arm was spray painted black, and the engine was sort of half spray painted black, half not. I just hate sorting through other people's projects. Whereas now I have a clean example that I can build off of and take a little bit from each of the others to get just what I want. Guys, I am so excited to start another project with you and especially one like this that is really ground up customization, totally up to us, right? How we wanna build it and what we wanna do. First step, make sure this engine is good and runs. Then we start tearing things apart, taking parts from here and from there, and building what we want. So be sure you stay tuned. I can't promise that I'm gonna put out weekly videos like the last couple of projects have been, just because stuff like this takes a long time. And then you run into one little problem and have to order a part and wait two weeks for it. Um, so with that being said, I'll probably chunk bigger bits of the work at a time into a video instead of putting out one small video every week. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you feel so obliged, please do subscribe down below, comment, and like this video. That way you are told when the next Virago build video comes out. Thanks for watching.